So we're here at the Qualcomm at CES 2012, and uh, you're showing Snapdragon S4. What, what is this? Uh, this is the reference uh, development platform that we build at Qualcomm for developers who are willing to uh, or want to develop the applications on uh, on the processor before the device actually is commercialized. So the S4 is the next Qualcomm. Right, it's the next generation of chipset, uh, or family of chipsets. This is the uh, this is showcasing our MSM8960, which is the dual core version that falls into the Snapdragon S4 uh, category family. So, how does it compare with the 8660 or 8620? So, 8660 was Snapdragon S3. This is a uh, this is an upgraded uh, version with a better CPU. We moved on to a newer CPU architecture. There's an advanced uh, GPU in it. Uh, 8660 had Adreno 220. This one has Adreno 225 GPU. Uh, it also has comes with integrated uh, LTE uh, modem for 4G uh, LTE connectivity. So uh, it, it does come with a lot of enhancements uh, from processor as well as the uh, the feature standpoint. So this this uh, reference tablet is pretty crazy full of features, right? Yeah, yeah. So what kind of crazy features are there in here? So so one of the um, uh, rather than features, I'll talk about the user experience that it will bring uh, to the uh, to the end consumer. So this is what we're showcasing here is a game called Fight Game Heroes, which is based on uh, uh, the license of the fight game. Uh, the main character is Alistair Overeem. He's a, a three times world champion MMA. Yeah, and uh, right now fighting UFC. So uh, this game is based on him. Uh, it's uh, it's it's based on Unity game engine. It showcases high-end graphics uh, with GPU and CPU capabilities of Snapdragon S4. As yeah, you can kick like this and then you can punch. So this is something that was not possible before. Or? Uh, so no. So GPU and CPU. So it's showcasing the graphics capabilities and gaming capabilities. Now the cool thing about it is uh, we'll probably switch on to here. But what this is show showcasing is uh, these are two reference platforms, and they are uh, we are playing a multiplayer over LTE network, Verizon's LTE network. So uh, imagine that today uh, with your games, you're, you have even if you're playing a multiplayer game, you have to sit in a couch with your Wi-Fi in your house and then play the multiplayer. With this, what, what, what's going to happen is you can take the same device, walk out, get into a train, and still have the same capability of playing multiplayer games without the connection issues. So Why are you showing two of them? So th these are the two uh, two different players, right? So. Uh, um, this one is connected to HDMI, and you can see um, if you if you look from maybe a little, little distance behind, the HDMI quality on the TV is pretty uh, pretty nice too. So anyway, I mean I'm I'm playing with this guy, and then uh, the other guy is supposed to play here, but there's no no one playing, so I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's not a fair competition, but I think oh even if you play, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm guessing. You gonna beat me? <laughs> no. Oh oh yeah, oh that's that. oh okay that. okay you won. <laughs> So yeah, I mean uh, the LTE uh, multiplayer LTE. Is, that's the that's the key user experience that we are focus, focusing on here. There's also uh, a game called Modern Combat 3 from Game Lab that we are showcasing. Also which, on S4. Uh, it is also on S4 with multiplayer LTE. Um, and you go there, you go up to eight players. So you, you can you can use have the same experience. Um, I think it's connecting, but uh, we have up to eight players uh, playing. You can look at the high, uh, high uh, quality of the graphics. I mean, this is like uh, this is like the highest quality graphics you can get. No, you can't yeah, yeah, can yeah. get much more than that, can you? Yeah, no. I mean, uh, this it's is like a console. For, yeah, like yeah, like a high-end gaming console. That's what that's what we are showcasing. HDMI output, 3D, full. Full rendering. Yes. All the effects, all that. Yeah. And we're not showcasing stereoscopic 3D here, but the next book, the showcasing stereoscopic 3D. That's so also. Is it as much power as uh, Xbox 360 or not yet? Um, I mean, personally, if I have to say, I think it'll probably be a little more powerful than that. Yeah. More powerful than the Xbox, Xbox 360, maybe. No, not the 360. The ah, Xbox. The yeah. And uh, so, so how many could you count? Uh, what's it called triangles per second or um, pixels per second? Yeah, I think rather than that, the kind of user experience. If you look at the graphics quality, you can imagine playing the similar game on Xbox, uh, even Xbox 360 or PS3, right? So it's like giving you the same uh, kind of experience. So, uh, what are you doing to enable 
better, faster games on your platform? So we are working with um, a lot of game developers in the industry, um, the top ones as well as the independent uh, ones, trying to make their games optimized for Snapdragon and showcasing through uh, 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 an application which we call Game Command. So they'll feature all the applications on the marketplace uh, and uh, they'll get more visibility as well as the downloads for their games. Are you helping them optimize? Yes, uh, we are making sure that they are optimizing, taking best advantage of the Snapdragon processors with Adreno GPUs uh, in it uh, and uh, showcasing the best possible hardware. So is Adreno 225 now? This is 225, yes. 225. And uh, so how many of these are shipped, of uh, these uh, dev kits? Uh, so these dev kits are uh, something that we make available uh, through our partner, uh, uh, so there, are, there's a SD, HDMI, special port here. All right. Even a finger, and it's, I think it's a very special HD screen here. All right. I think this one in particular is running gingerbread, but we also have uh, honey. Uh, sorry, ice cream sandwich run. On it. On it. Here. Um, yeah, there could be some device, maybe these devices. Right? Cool.